Okay. Okay, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very nice to be connecting with you today. And I'm just getting my Zoom ready, so give me just a moment. I'm going to make sure I can hear myself. Good, I can hear myself, so that's all good. So welcome, thank you for joining me today. Let me uh, do a little bit more, push this off to the side here. There we go. All right. So thanks for joining today. Today is January 23rd, 2018. We are 23 days into the 18th day of the century. Amazing, huh? And so today I'm going to be focusing on something that actually is very near and dear to my heart. I probably don't do enough of it, but I hope that it will reach a lot of new souls. The subject is about Tao calligraphy, specifically the Tao calligraphy that Master Shah has brought to humanity and how it can bring such blessings into your life. And what I'm going to do is I came through Zoom today because uh, I'll be able to put up on the screen a special calligraphy that we're all going to be working with today. I'm going to give an education about the, the nature, power, and significance of Tao calligraphy. And then I will be spending quite a bit of time actually allowing you to work with the calligraphy in a way that I am hoping will create tremendous beneficial results. I will teach you how to use the calligraphy correctly. Uh, and my uh, trust and hope is that at the end of this um, guidance, wisdom, teaching, and blessing, that, that your heart and your head, most importantly, will be moved to have a deep and great appreciation for Tao calligraphy. Uh, because it is something that can help more people than you can possibly imagine. And it's something that uh, crosses all borders. You know, a lot of people, when you use the word healing or blessing or, or, or you mention, you know, the words follow Master Shaw or anything like that, they immediately butt in their head against a belief system, you know. And what they do is they stop themselves from receiving huge, huge, huge blessings that can literally bring such benefits to their life because they, they have... Uh, their head is squared is, is, is how my teacher says it. He doesn't say it particular to any one group or person. He you know, even says it to us as he's teaching us, don't square your head. I'm trying to get you to open your mind. So today will be mind opening for a lot of people to understand uh, much better the nature of Tao calligraphy. And I will also make available to each of you uh, I believe I can do this. Let me think, how am I going to do this? I want to, yeah, I think I can do that. Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm going to try to drop a file onto this, uh, onto this tab here. We're going to see if it works. So give me a moment while I prepare that. Mm, I might have to be a little creative on that one. I'll do that while you guys are tracing so I don't utilize this time. <clears throat> so welcome, Anne Marie. Welcome, Sharon Dodd. Welcome, Deborah Anderson. Welcome also, Becky Lafab and uh, Cez Garcia. Welcome, Kathy Arnold. Aloha, Kristen. And welcome, John Crawley. Welcome also to Becky, uh, Becky Lefab, Donna Fenez, and Nelson Fiedler. Welcome, Vanessa. Aloha, Larissa. Welcome, Chelsea. Welcome also to Janice Crosby and Robin Toth. Aloha, Master Elizabeth. And aloha and welcome to Kristen Strachan and Don Robinson. <coughs> Hopefully, I didn't miss anybody. I think I got you all. Welcome, Anne-Marie Stewart. And so I'll continue to welcome others as they come in. So let us go ahead and connect. First, heart to heart, self to soul. And then I will um, move into the wisdom teachings and blessings on Tao calligraphy. All right? Let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand is gently remained pointed towards heaven. Let's close our eyes and let us fully connect. And I will invite in the beings of light. Dear the divine, dear the Tao and the source, 
our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, beloved Mother Earth, and all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes of the light side, dear old angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. We love you, we honor you, deeply appreciate you. Ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence in whatever way is most appropriate. We thank you from the bottom of our heart for all that you do for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of Tao Calligraphy, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Dear the soul of Shen Shijing, Jeju He Yi Calligraphy, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please come? Dear the soul of the highest and most pertinent, important, and relevant wisdom that I can share on Tao Calligraphy to all of those that watch and listen now and in the future. Could you please be present? Love you all, honor you and appreciate you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, love you, love you. We invite you to please come and we invite all souls in all universes to please turn on the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony to chant with us at this time. So let us chant for a round or two of Love, Peace and Harmony Connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula li lula, wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai ran ran li, wang li rong er mu shir shong, xiang ai ping on er xie, xiang ai ping on er xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Why, why, why? Darling, why to run, run, lay? Wangli rong, her musher shong. Shong I ping on a she. Shong I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all very much for joining. Thank you for sharing. Hitting the share button. Aloha and welcome, Phil Collins. Hope you can stick around, Phil. It's good stuff. And welcome, Lisa Bellavance. Welcome, Angie. Welcome, Agot. Welcome, also, Rosina. And welcome, Richie Souder. Aloha. Aloha to Peggy and Missy Dodd. And Jennifer Maria. Welcome, M.A. Drade. I think I've acknowledged everybody else. Thank you so much for joining today. So today is about Tao calligraphy, understanding it and understanding how it can significantly help you. Um, in case you missed the, the first few minutes, one of the things I mentioned is that a lot of people have um, 
have mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, and attachments specific to their comprehension and understanding of what can help them and what cannot. And a lot of this falls over into belief systems. Uh, I have uh, approached people with a loving heart and I see them, you know, harming themselves uh, or in significant pain. And I say, would you be willing to receive a healing blessing? And they're like, oh, no, 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 I'm Christian. Uh, and I'm like, wow, you know, how square is the head? So that person missed the opportunity to receive great value. And so it's important to change our understanding and thinking about everything that we know, because we don't know what we don't know. And in fact, there's about 95% of what we don't know. We take our 5% and we apply that to decide if we want to allow the other 95%. It's amazing how big the ego can be sometimes. So I encourage all of those to have an open mind. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be here if you didn't. I'm saying this for all those that might be stumbling across this that are completely uh, no idea what Dow calligraphy is. Because this video gets shared onto groups to people who are completely unfamiliar with it. So that's who I'm speaking to at this point. So I love you all and I thank you for your presence and awareness. So what is Tao Calligraphy? Tao Calligraphy is a medium through which blessings from a higher source can come into the physical third dimensional experience. In this case, a piece of paper. Everything in the wisdom and teachings of Master Shah boils down to soul. Everything has a soul. You've heard this before. Bear with me as I cover it a little bit again. A piece of paper has a soul. A thought has a soul. Your brain has a soul. A piece of plastic you're looking at me through has a soul. Everything has a soul because everything has divine creator in it. In other words, everything is made up of energy and matter. All energy and all matter carries with it a consciousness, a soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, a consciousness. Some are quite conscious like a human being. Some are more conscious than a human being like evolved beings. And some are less conscious than a human being like a rock. But nevertheless, everything has a consciousness. So every soul <clears throat> carries in it soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. A thought has soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. A piece of plastic has soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Their level of comprehension and consciousness may vary, but everything has that consciousness in it. Dao calligraphy is simply a piece of paper with a black marking on it that is calligraphy. But what makes it Dao calligraphy versus just basic, a black mark on a piece of paper that someone labels calligraphy. The word Tao is very, very important. Tao is not a belief system or a religion. And Tao is a word that means source. Tao is a word that means beginning, from where everything comes from. Um, it can be superimposed in, for your belief system with God, creator, whatever you'd like it to. That's okay. Whatever helps you to have an open mind and move forward in the understanding process. Tao calligraphy, therefore, is source information on a piece of paper called calligraphy. What does that mean, source information? As has been taught through all of Master Shah's books in the last five to, to eight years, and most recently, everything has soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. What's another way of saying that? Shen, Qi, and Jing. Everything is made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing. Well, we already know that the Shen, Qi, and Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, of our rock is not the same as the Shen, Qi, and Jing of a human being. That's pretty obvious. But we can also surmise, based on common sense, that the Shen, Qi, and Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter of Jesus or Buddha is higher than a human being. Okay? So we know unequivocally that there are ranges of Shen, Qi, and Jing. Well, heaven, their Shen, Qi, Jing, their uh, power, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, is much higher than a human being's, much higher than a piece of paper. But there is a way for heaven's frequencies to come down and reside in a specific location. 
That's what dial calligraphy is. It is a carrier of very high frequencies of Shen Qi Jing from the very high realms of source and heaven. Now, for the brain to comprehend that, I get it. It could be, some of you, you get it. You're not even questioning it. Some of you, you're like, okay, I can work with that for a little while. I'm going to need a lot more information to, uh, you know, to, to measure it out with, see if this actually works for me. And some of you might be somewhere in the middle or at the far end, like, yeah, 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 this guy's been smoking something. That's okay. In either case, let me continue. Remember, the 95% of what we don't know we don't know is where all of our wisdom can be gained. So let us assume that higher source power, original creation power, can be put in objects and things. That is what Tao calligraphy is purporting that it can do. Master Shah is the deliverer, one of them, of Tao calligraphy. Since then, since about probably almost four years ago now, he has been transferring that power and ability to other uh, people. And they have in turn been offering blessings to many, many souls around the world with a great deal of success. So we're going to test it today. We're going to see if it works, okay? And what I have lined up is a calligraphy. I'll show you this. We're not gonna work with it quite yet, but I want you to see it so that you know what I'm talking about. So on your screen, you should see a calligraphy and uh, in Mandarin Chinese language, everything is from the top down and from the right side to the left side. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see my cursor moving, this symbol going down and then we go back up to the top on the left side and we bring it down. Let's go back to the top right side. What do these symbols mean? Ren di, uh, Ren di Tian Dao. Ren di Tian Dao. Mandarin Chinese. What is the English? Human, Earth, Heaven, Dao. What is Dao? Dao is source. Human, Earth, Heaven, source. That's what these four symbols mean. So Master, in Master Shah's teachings, we go from uh, the frequencies have to go through increase. How do we get from third to fourth dimension? How do we move closer and closer to heaven? We must uh, elevate our frequencies first from the human frequency to a higher frequency, in this case, Mother Earth. Mother Earth's frequency carries very high frequency. She's lived for four billion years that we know of, billion with a B. We live a hundred, then die. I think Mother Earth's Shen Qi Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter is higher than ours. What's higher than Mother Earth? Heaven's frequency. So heaven's frequency is much higher than Mother Earth. We don't even know how long heaven's been around. But what created heaven? What created Mother Earth? Most people don't ask that. Source. Source creates all planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. Mother Earth is not the only planet. If you think Mother Earth is the only planet where there's life, you need to wake up. Heaven is connected to Mother Earth, possibly to other planets, but as far as we know, Mother Earth. So, so Tao, or source, is creator. So how do we raise our frequency? We go in order. Ren Di Tian Dao. Now let's look at the other column over here on the left. On the left column, this stands for Jeju. What is Jeju? Well, in this case, it stands for spinal column. And this calligraphy is the reason I can share this with you. Because this calligraphy was freely given to humanity to serve humanity, to wake them up. Now, we will use it for blessing our spinal column. But if you do not have spinal column issues, you can choose to trace for that. It's not a bad idea. Uh, but you can choose to trace for any condition you have, and it will also serve you. So the first two letters are Jeju. The last two, down in the bottom here, is He Yi. So Mandarin Chinese. Jeju is spinal column. He Yi means becomes one. Becomes one. Spinal column becomes one. Uh, and so what, what does that mean, becomes one? What Master Shaw is teaching us is that 
Shen Qi Jing He Yi, Ren Di Tian Dao He Yi. They all mean the same thing. Ren Di Tian Dao and, and Shen Qi Jing He Yi are soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter becoming one. Uh, from the highest perspective, the highest educational teachings in spirituality, all separation from creation, from our original source creator, where are we now? We're in this third dimensional world full, filled with suffering. We got to deal with cancer. We got to deal with relationship blockages. We got to deal with financial issues. Anybody having fun in this world? Very few. And even the very, very rich people at the top are not having fun. They're too busy protecting their money and worried about people stealing it. So there are very few people actually having fun. So in this third dimensional world that we belong in, we are a long way from source. Uh, so misalignment from source is a misalignment in your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Tao calligraphy aligns your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. How does Tao calligraphy do this? How does it align your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter? It does it by aligning your frequency, third dimensional, you and me, down in this world of suffering, to Mother Earth's frequency, and then to Heaven's frequency, and then to Tao's frequency. And that aligns your spinal column in this case, or whatever request you make. Uh, yesterday, or Sunday, excuse me, I did a teaching with one of my advanced classes, and we were doing a practice in which we were um, building energy in the Ming Men point, and then opening up a passage along the spinal column, and then up into the top of the head and back down to the heart. At the end of this practice, a student who had significant sciatic pain to the point where it was very difficult for them to get up, just a couple of days worth, uh, it completely disappeared. And it stayed gone from a practice that opened up a channel that ran uh, through the spinal column. So if you think for a moment, a blessing in the spinal column does not impact other parts of your being, wrong again. 95%, what we don't know, we don't know. Because when you're aligning your Shen, Qi, and Jing, when you are aligning your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, it affects everything in your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual body. There is not one part that is not positively impacted, okay? Your spinal column so, uh, holds the spinal cord. The spinal cord connects to the brain. The brain is the processor. So if there's any miscommunication in the brain because of chemicals, breathing in the, the bad air, all the GMOs, all of the unpleasant activity by radiation and, and EMF frequencies. If there's any blockages along the spine because of accidents, uh, traumas, lifting heavy boxes. If there's any kind of imbalances in the brain, it could be impacting on the spinal cord and vice versa. So when you do this, it aligns all the way up. So it has a huge, huge, huge potential to assist you. So <clears throat> we've discovered, we've asked the question, what is Tao calligraphy? I've answered it. It is the higher frequency that has come to earth in the human plane. Why is Tao calligraphy important? Because it is a medium, a free medium, because it is placed in many of Master Shah's books. People, they do not have the spiritual intelligence to be able to comprehend the value of a piece of paper with black writing on it. They don't have enough of this shared wisdom to, to respect that what is in that piece of paper is what can literally reverse whatever is ailing them in their life. And all that is required is that they play with it and practice with it. That's it. That's all that's asked of you. It's given freely. And all you're asked is to work with it. So I tell you this so that you know. Go out and get any of Master Shah's last four books. They all have Tao source calligraphies in them, even higher frequencies than this one that we're working with. I'm working with this one because I can uh, give it to you in the form of a PDF, I believe I can, uh, and you should be able to open it and keep it for yourself. Why can I do this? Because Master Shah has given this calligraphy to humanity. 
Um, now, there are uh, people like myself, I went out and I honored the cost of a, of a bottom end new car, I borrowed money for it so I can get a personal calligraphy on my wall in my room. It will save at least a thousand lives. So I don't mind doing that because I can save lives. You can do the same actually with any of these. You just need to have it in your hands. So get a book, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to set up the stage for tracing this calligraphy for your health and wellness. Uh, I'd like you to choose spine if in the past you've had spinal problems, currently have spinal problems. Consider, it's your choice, consider asking for spine blessings, uh, spinal column blessings, even if you have not, I will tell you why. Because we all are in this third dimensional world for a reason. If we were perfect, if we were operating at the highest Shen Qi Jing of our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, then we would not be here. We would be upstairs having a cigar and beer with our friends. But we're here. That means that we have spiritual debt to clean up. We don't know what that spiritual debt is. It could be that two years from now, we're scheduled to have a car accident to offset some spiritual debt where in a previous lifetime in the 1400s, we cut somebody's spinal column in a warring condition when we're obviously not the same person we are today. That would suck, but it's a possibility, right? And so what if that was scheduled to come a couple years from now and you did this practice today with great sincerity, maybe a few more times than once, and those blockages were cleared? What does it mean? Align Shen Qi Jing. What does it mean? Align soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter of your spinal column. It means releasing karma. Do you get it? So it has a great possibility of working. If not once, do it again. Do three, four, five times. When you are consistent, it has a great possibility of being of great value to you. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and switch over and share this screen with you again. And what I'd like you to do is um, we're going to go ahead and sit up straight, place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is just like a prayer position, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. We drop the right hand in front of, uh, excuse me, the right hand remains pointed towards heaven, just like a prayer position, okay? This connects heaven into our heart center. <clears throat> Close your eyes, and we're going to connect we're going to ask with great sincerity for blessings as appropriate. So if comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear the soul of this beautiful Tao source calligraphy, Ren Di Tian Dao, Jie Zhu He Yi, which means human, heaven, excuse me, human, earth, heaven, Tao, Spinal column becomes one. I love you on you and appreciate you. Could you please, as appropriate, offer me a blessing for my spinal column and spinal cord? And if appropriate, blessings for my neck and cervical. I would be very, very, very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you wish to request something else, just connect the same way and ask for something different. That's okay. Do measure your uh, flexibility. Reach down and touch your toes right now. I can't because I'm sitting down and I have to talk to you. But reach down, touch your toes. How far can you stretch? Measure that point, okay? Don't bounce. Just go as far as you can, measure that point. What about side to side? Twisting side to side or uh, arms over your head side to side. How far can you stretch? Okay. Are you stiff? Is there um, lack of flexibility? What is your pain levels, if any? Okay. Put a number to them. Remember your own measurements. <clears throat> we're going to do this tracing and then we'll go back and we'll check. Who do you know? We're going to call their soul in, and I'm going to ask you to call them after this, okay? Who do you know that has back 
pain. I want you to think of somebody that has back pain. I'm going to call in the soul of my wife. I know she's had some recently. So dear the soul of my wife, please come. So you just state out loud, dear heaven, dear the soul of, name that person, please come to this calligraphy practice. Thank you. Their soul will instantly come. Just trust, okay? I will do the invocation one more time for all of their souls. I'm going to wait another 20 seconds for everyone to call the soul of their friend. Think of who they're thinking of, okay? And I'm going to, we're going to trace for you and them. They don't know. The physical person is unaware. We've called their soul. We're going to say as appropriate because if it's not appropriate, then the blessings will not go to them. But if it's appropriate, then they will receive. And uh, we're going to call and check in with them. Hey, remember when you're telling me your back was sore? How has it been doing? How was it this morning? Oh, it was sore. It was stiff. You know, how is it now? You might hear it's the same. You might hear, wow, I can't believe it. I'm actually in no pain right now. I suspect 50% of you will hear that. So you've called their soul. So now I will redo invocation one more time for their soul. So dear the soul of all of those that are watching now live, all of those that will watch in the future, all of those that will listen on podcast and the souls of those that we've called in as friends to offer this service as appropriate. We love you. We honor you. We appreciate you. We ask you to open yourself fully to receive these blessings for your spinal column. If you are not interested in receiving, then please return. If you are interested in receiving, please open your heart to receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, how do we do this? First thing we do, I have to stop to share a moment. Look at my hands. You put your fingers like this. This is key. Okay, touch them together. This is your five elements. Okay, this is how you trace. You trace like this. Okay, and you follow the lines. Follow the lines. Now, unfortunately, uh, I, I can move the mouse on the screen, but you may or may not be able to see it to follow the lines. I will do the best I can. You just have to do the best you can. So we'll go back to sharing the screen. And now we will chant Ren Di Qian Dao Jie Ju He Yi. That will be our mantra. Ren Di Qian Dao Jie Ju He Yi. Okay? <clears throat> so let us chant together while we trace. Ren di tian dao jie ju he yi. 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 
人的天道，结就而已。人的天道，结就而已。人的天道结局而已，人的天道结局而已，人的天道结局而已，人的天道结局而已。So those that have just joined, uh, Angela, Tahir, Sharon, Stephanie, Tammy, um, and Susan, we are tracing from the top down, from the right side to the left side. Place your fingers together from the top down to the left side to the right side. <coughs> Continue. Rendi tian dao jie ju yi. Rendi tian dao jie ju yi. Ren di tian dao jie ju er yi. Ren di tian dao jie ju er yi. So heaven is telling me we need to do a forgiveness practice. So please, from your heart, continue to trace, but do this forgiveness practice with me. Dear my beloved divine creator, dear all souls of humanity, Dear all souls in all universes, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I wish to, from the bottom of my heart, sincerely, sincerely, sincerely apologize. From my heart, if I or my ancestors have brought any harm or suffering, to anyone for any reason, especially if I or my ancestors have offered unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions that have harmed people's backs, lower backs, middle back, upper back, neck, spinal column, or spinal cord. If I or my ancestors have harmed any aspect of the back, there is simply no excuse. I deeply apologize to each and every soul that has suffered from back pain, back suffering, inability to have flexibility, inability to pick things up, to even pick up their children. If you have ever been in a wheelchair as a result of wrong actions that I or my ancestors have done, I humbly and sincerely, sincerely from my heart apologize. Please receive the virtue that is being offered from this calligraphy. I will not make the same mistakes again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us continue to chant. Rendi tian dao jie ju er yi. 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 Human. Earth, heaven, Tao, spinal column becomes one. Human, earth, heaven, Tao, spinal column becomes one. Human, earth, heaven, and Tao, spinal column becomes one. Human, earth, heaven, and Tao. Spinal column becomes one. Human earth, heaven and thou. Spinal column becomes one. Human earth, heaven and thou. Spinal column becomes one. 
Human Earth, Heaven and the Spinal Column becomes one. Human Earth. Heaven and Tao, spinal column becomes one. Rendi Tian Dao Jeju Hur Yi. Rendi Tian Dao Jeju Hur Yi. Rendi Tian Dao Jeju Hur Yi. Randy Tian Dao Jeju Yi 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 Randy Tian Dao Jeju Yi. And let us offer our gratitude. Thank you, Divine Dao and Source. Thank you, Master Sha. And thank you to the soul of this calligraphy for its unconditional service to us and our loved ones. And then we will return. Okay. So. I was getting quite hot, quite warm, actually. I have a fan on me and my window open. I'm still getting hot and sweaty. I don't know about you guys. <clears throat> you can share what your experience was. But please get up, move around, uh, stretch. What is your flexibility now in each direction? Uh, give me a percentage of improvement. If you are leaning over to touch your toes, did you go down one inch more, two inches more? No change. Um, also, if you had any pain or suffering for any area of request, including the spinal column, what was that area that you requested? What was the pain before? What is it now? So I look forward to uh, reading your comments. Welcome. Um, thank you, Kathy, for your comment. Hot, hot, hot. Teresa says, best gift to receive. And welcome also to Leila and Erica. Welcome, Elizabeth Carrasco and Donnie Rollins. Great. Happy to see you all doing the practice with us. And welcome, Gavin Hartley and Christine Urban. <clears throat> uh, Sharon shares that she feels no stiffness, no pain, and feels warm. Was that before, Sharon? Did you have pain and stiffness before and now you don't? If so, what was the number? Uh, Vanessa says, definitely more flexible. And Teresa says, feels warm and better. Again, Teresa, what was it before? What, is that, what does better mean? Uh, were you feeling <coughs> a headache or did you have back pain? What was it before? And remember, we did this uh, blessing also for those friends whose souls wanted to remain to receive the blessing. And so I'd like you to give them a call and, and ask them. You know, you mentioned to me you have back pain. Uh, I was just checking in with you now if it's reduced at all, okay? Because I just called your soul in to receive a blessing. Um, now, they may say, no, it's the same. They might say, wow, it's gone. I do this for you because if you can grasp at a, at a uh, comprehension-based level, at a, at a mind-based level, that something as simple as a piece of paper with black writing on it can not only impact you, but a loved one at a distance, no less, over the internet, no less, then you can start to understand just how significant Dow calligraphy is. And so Teresa says, uh, let's see, uh, Sharon Dodd says, yes, she did have back pain before. It was a five. Now it's gone. That's impressive. That's, a, that's not a small thing. Teresa, she was having a headache and swollen shoulder and neck pain. And she said that it's better. Okay. Very good. Lisa Bellavance, her left shoulder does not hurt now. Excellent. Sharon Dodd, when, to when touch the toes, it feels uh, freely bounced with ease, says Sharon. So more flexibility there. Um, Monica says her mama got the blessing 
her hips was so stiff and she can walk better now. Okay. So this is good because Mon Monica's mom doesn't understand what we're doing. She's open-minded, but she doesn't understand what we're doing. And so this helps to open her mind more as well. So I'm going to drop a link in here um, to something that I hope you'll all take advantage of. And this is to uh, introductory to Dow Calligraphy Retreat with Master Cecilia Liu. Uh, it's this weekend. Um, actually, there's a free evening Wednesday night. So if you like free, make sure you join Wednesday night Hawaii time. Uh, that's like 6.30, I believe. So it's 6.30 in the morning for Europe. And you just have to adjust it to your time zone accordingly. So it's 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. It's three hours free on Wednesday night. And then um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days. I know it's a lot, but you can take it in on webcast. And I believe, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I believe it'll be recorded, which means that you should be able to watch it after the fact. And so um, uh, I hope that you register for it. And there's another side effect of that if you do. Um, and I just thought of this while I was doing the presentation. Prior to doing this presentation, that wasn't even in my mind. But heaven told me, make sure you support this event because people will get a lot out of it. So, okay, I'm happy to support. So I posted it for you. Uh, but for those that are interested more in Dow Calligraphy and would like to attend the webcast version that Master Shaw is offering in Toronto, this is a prerequisite unless you have ever attended one before. Okay, so that's a little side note for you. Uh, you're very welcome, Donnie. And so, <clears throat> yeah, so this should cover all the bases that I wanted to cover for today. I hope you have a deeper and better understanding of the power and significance of Dow calligraphy, how it works. It was important that I spent some time on how it works. Uh, if you didn't grasp that or you came in a little late, go back and listen. It will take a couple of times, okay? Most importantly, did you notice any results? Because it's the results that validate. The mind, the mind might take a while to catch up as to the, how it works, but the results always prove true regardless. The key is to, uh, is to constantly make these available to yourself. Because what are you doing when you're tracing them? It could be this calligraphy. It could be Da I, the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness. These are in his other books. It could be any calligraphy that Master Shaw does. They carry very high frequency, which raises our low frequency. When we have pain, what is that? It's low frequency. When we have heart blockages, when we have financial blockages, what is that? Low frequency. What causes low frequency? Karma. So these calligraphies, bring high frequency, positive frequency, offset the spiritual debt. You just need to keep doing it. That's the simple, simple secret. It's free. You cannot beat the cost and it works. So learn more about it. When you actually learn to do it yourself, that's when you're really catapulting yourself on your health, uh, uh, health, health and healing. Because when you learn to draw it yourself and draw it correctly, because these have to be done exactly and correctly, then you are literally clearing your own blockages in a very powerful way, okay? So <clears throat> I want to offer my deepest gratitude to Master Shah, to Divine Dao and Source, to all the beings of light, uh, to the Dao calligraphy, to the Rendi Kim Dao Jie Jie calligraphy, and the countless blessings and beings of light within that have joined. Please share this with your friends. Please call the soul you spoke of, okay? Please call them. After this, come back to this page in a few minutes. I'm going to try to post this calligraphy as a PDF. I don't know if it will allow it. I'm going to try to post it as a PDF so you can download it, okay? Uh, but you have to come back to this page. I'll post it in a few minutes. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. All the beings of light respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody.